what's about to ensue here is a comparison of the different Riga belts, both made by Riga and aftermarket belts. So, if you're curious and you want to see a long video showing me testing the different belts, then stay tuned for more. Alright guys, this is going to be a gear video. If you're looking for vinyl, you're looking for music, you can turn it off now. I'm not going to be offended. So, this video is predominantly for Riga turntable users, but what I'm going to show actually applies to other belt-driven turntables. So if you're curious, stick around and watch the rest of this video. I'm going to try and keep it condensed. Um, what I'm trying to get out here is I'm going to be comparing four different belts for a Riga turntable. Each belt has a different rubber compound, and each compound has a different coefficient of friction. And so that will play into belt slippage along your subplatter, and even to a small degree, your pulley. Now, what does that mean? It means you're going to have slight deviations in your revolutions per minute, and you're going to be seeing this in the ensuing video. Um, personally, what I'd love to have is something where I can do a trend analysis and have it plotted so I could see the deviation over time and do a better statistical analysis on which belts better but you know given the tools that I have this is the best I can do and you know you go out there today and uh, the Riga forums there is a bunch of you know uh, claims about the different belts there are different you know reports on oh I hear the base is tighter well, I'm trying to provide some more science behind what folks are hearing. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the Riga belt that, that comes with the table is not a bad belt. And you really, you know, in, unless you're really, really, really listening, you're not going to hear too much of a difference. But, you know, like me, you might be a tweaker and you're looking for perfection, you're looking for stability. And here I'm going to show you which belt is probably the best for your turntable. Um, Riga turntables have always been known to run a little fast and I think Michael Fremer did a review of the new RP10 and even in his review that was written up in Stereophile he claimed that hey it was running fast well in this video you can see one of the reasons why uh, the motor itself is good it, it runs at 33.3 rpm but there's other factors that cause it to deviate and the belt is definitely one of them so um, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. So I just want to give you a shot of the platter with the upgraded belt, and of course I have the upgraded subplatter from Groove Tracer here. Uh, so what I have on my platter right now is the upgraded Riga belt, or the white belt. Um, so I'm going to do a demonstration of the revolutions per minute with the white belt. And so this is a IRPM app, and as you can see, uh, the the Riga white belt is going to dance between 33.4 and 33.7, and there you saw it peak up to 33.8. Okay, guys, uh, same belt, different app. This is uh, uh, another one that's available. Uh, turn tabby later. So you can see it's set at 36 RPM, at least that's what I did when I last ran it. But I did want to do a demo, so I'm going to hit spin again. Apply power to the motor, and we're going to watch it here. So this one, you give it a second, and then it, it reads it over a certain period of time, and it tells you what the average is. So it says thank you and wait. So the average it's coming to is 33.7. So just to demo it one more time, I'm going to hit spin again. So spin me, let it run. So it's done. So let's wait. 
So you see the speed is 33.6 and it's 1% fast. Now I'm going to switch belts. I'm going to put on the standard Riga belt, uh, which is this guy right here. And I'll let you uh, see the results of when I put this guy on. Okay, here's a quick shot. You can see that the uh, Riga black belt is now on the subplatter, and I'm going to put the platter back on now. So now I'm going to put on my turn tabulator app. Hit spin again. And we'll see how well the black belt does. So 0.2% fast, so a bit better with the black belt. And it says exact. With the black belt, we're just going to do this one more time. Again, 33.4. With the black belt on, uh, I'm going to use the IP, IRPM app and let you take a look at that. So you can see the black belt is much, much better than the white belt. Dancing around 33.3 and 33.4. You can see that the, the apps pretty much uh, correlate with one another. So, one of the users out there recommended uh, this belt for accuracy, which is uh, Edwards Audio Little Belter. Um, this can be purchased uh, through eBay online, so I'm going to put this guy on next and we'll do a comparison. So, just to show you here, now I got the uh, Edwards audio little belter uh, on the platter and I'm going to put the or on the sub platter and now I'm going to put the platter back on okay now I'm going to put the turn tabulator app on So it doesn't look like I got a perfectly center on the turntable, but uh, yeah, 33.3 .3 exact. So saying 0.1% fast. Um, so don't know how many decimal places it goes to uh, really, but it's uh, looking pretty accurate. So let's just do this one more time. I'm going to hit spin again. This time it says 33.4. Still pretty accurate, it says 0.1% fast, which isn't too bad, and exact. Alright, let's just do it one more time, a third time, I'm going to hit spin again.
and we'll see what we get. Thirty-three point three. So so far, uh, what one of the YouTube users reported to me is fairly accurate. The Edwards Audio Little Belter is probably the best belt. So uh, let's take a look at the IRPM app. So you can see it dancing around 33.3 and 33.4. That's uh, as good as it's going to get. Alright, so the last belt I'm going to check, which is the fourth belt I do have, which is the Michael Lim silicone belt. So I'm going to uh, open up one of these guys and try it out. Okay, so here's a shot with the Michael Lim silicone belt. Uh, now on the platter, or the sub platter. All right, using the turn tabulator, spin again. And here we go. thirty three point four not too bad so I'm gonna take one more shot at it alright got it on the platter spinning it up doesn't look like I got the phone too center there Thirty-three point five. Better than the Reedy Belt, but not quite as good as the Edwards Audio. So now it's saying thirty-three point four, but uh, I'm going to give it one more shot and see what the average is over three tries. So 33.4, not too bad. All right, now I'm going to try the IRPM app. see what we get here. So you get it's almost it's really steady at 33.4 so you can tell that there's not a lot of slippage in there compared to some of the other belts. So I hope folks found this useful and I think as you can see uh, the clear winner was the uh, Edwards belt uh, which I recommend so if you're not going to go for the Riga, Riga pulley mod which is available by Tango Spinner and also Michael Lim then I recommend going with the Edwards belt. So this is the first of a three video set which I plan on doing. In the next video I'm actually going to install the Michael Lim double pulley on my Riga. So uh, if you're interested to see what effects the double pulley has, then stay tuned for more.